Not yet. We're still securing a couple inmates. We do have, which is awesome, is you have the kick up of snow every time he does a point launch or, you know, he's, he's going on the street. You can see every individual footprint uh, get revealed. So it really has a, a level of immersion that we can that we can get. I would Police aren't taking any chances, especially not with our guest of honor. Getting a lot of interference here. One of those guys who helped Doc Gock is in there? I think so. Could be Vulture, could be Scorpion, could be someone bigger. Okay, we got a problem. Go back, Miles. Let me take- I got this, Pete. Don't worry. Oh, no! <laughs> it's secure! It's okay, we got this. Just need to contain it before. Before that happens. Hello, tiny spiders. So Marvel Spider-Man is an amazing game. We all love it. I mean, people are still playing it today. It's incredible. But we knew there are areas that we can improve upon. And one of them was uh, trying to get more of a seamless cinematic experience, uh, an immersive cinematic experience that, that flowed very naturally from gameplay into cinematic moments back into gameplay again. So that was, that was one of our core pillars, is how do we take our set piece moments and make them even more spectacular by by removing any rough edges in them and bringing the peaks higher, right? So whenever we are... Oh, 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 Rhino has got him on the ropes. And Miles just has to summon something from within to protect his mentor. And that's when the bioelectricity surges through his body. And then we have this really iconic punch that, that Miles lands on Rhino. And that changes his trajectory of being coming his own Spider-Man. Now, Peter, uh, a man of science, uh, obviously would find this fascinating. Do you kind of go into that in the story of after he lands his punch, them exploring <laughs> these powers? Yeah, the, the thing that's great is uh, we, we, we knew that they're both science nerds, right? So the first thing he says, let's do some science tests, my, uh, Pete, tomorrow. It's going to be great, right? And Pete's like, uh, I got something to tell you, right? And then he drops some news on Miles that he is going to join MJ in Simcaria for a couple of weeks. Um, uh, and he's going to dust off his photo skills and be his, her sidekick photographer. Uh, for these peace talks so he can't geek out with miles uh over his powers but what pete can do and does do is you're not gonna keep 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 